Hi, my name is Shaheen Ali. I'm a senior scientist at ADCC. So today I want to talk about our poster that I'm going to present at the American Phytopathology Society's annual plant health meeting 2022. The title of my poster is the untrapped potential of ADCC's fungal collection. And I'm going to talk uh, about the diversity of ADCC's fungal collection and biocontrol as one of its potential area of application. So ADCC was founded in 1925, and we have been supplying scientists with uh, essential scientific resource, service, and standard for nearly a century. And ADCC is an ISO certified and accredited organization. Uh, we are the leading global supplier of authenticated cell line, viral, and microbial standard. We are also a patent repository uh, consisting of more than 90% of all US bio patent. We have a comprehensive microbial collection that include more than 70,000 microbial strain, including bacteria, yeast, fungi, protozoa, human virus, and animal virus. ADCC also accept uh, pro uh, proposed type strain through its uh, type strain deposit service. And our microbial strains are authenticated, including genotypic, proteotypic, and phenotypic analysis. So today I'm mainly going to talk about our mycology collection. So our mycology collection represent a significant diversity. We have more than uh, 7,900 uh, species from 1,864 genera. So if you see the uh, phylogenetic distribution at phylum level, so we have isolated from almost all phylum in our collection. And as Basidomycota and Ascomycota are the two major phylum, I'm going to show them in more detail. So uh, within the Bestia Mycota, we have 507 genera covering all three phylum and multiple classes. And similarly for Ascomycota, we have 1,225 genera covering all three subphylum and multiple classes. Then why uh, fungus is important? So fungi can be used to address numerous global challenges and penicillin is just one example which has saved millions of lives so far. So, so far we have identified uh, almost more than uh, 148,000 fungal species, uh, which has been described. And, but the high throughput sequencing estimate that there are more than 3.8 million fungal species on this planet. But interestingly, out of all these cultivated samples, uh, more than 80% are not available currently. So here comes the importance of repositories and culture collection that can preserve these cultivated samples for scientific use and future generation. Uh, so fun fungi are metabolically very creative and they can be harnessed for many industrial use like antibiotic production, biocontrol, enzyme production, biofuel production, biodegradation, dyes, production of dyes, packaging material, construction material, etc. So these are just few examples where fungi can be used. And today I'm going to talk about the biocontrol, but just keep in mind that ATCC has strain that can be used for all of these applications. So uh, fungi is a biocontrol agent. So every year up to a 40% of global crop production is lost due to various pest disease and wheat. And now to combat the crop loss, chemical pesticide and fungicide has become an integral part of uh, our agricultural system. But the global trend are shifting towards reducing the use of this chemical pesticide due to environmental and human health issue, as well as emergence of resistant pathogen. So in response to this concern, biocontrol is becoming, uh, becoming as an important alternative form of pest management. So based on a comprehensive literature search, uh, I found that ATCC's diverse collection of fungi encompass over 350 strains with potential biocontrol ability uh, against various plant pathogens and weeds. So I have divided those 350 isolate into uh, six different areas based on mode of action. So if you see this antifungal activity, so basically these are the fungus which can be used to control uh, fungal diseases of crops. And we have 173 such isolates. Then entomophagous fungus, which can be used to control insect based. And we have 68 such uh, isolates. 
Then we have 33 uh, fungal isolate that can be used uh, to control post harvest uh, diseases and control the loss due to post uh, loss of uh, fruit and vegetable due to various post harvest diseases. Then we have around 15 uh, isolate that can be used to control mites. Then around 30 isolate that can be used to control various nematode, plant pathogenic nematode. And then bioherbicides. So basically, these are plant pathogens which can be used to control obnoxious weeds or invasive species. And we have 57 such isolates. So if you visit uh, our website at atcc.org biocontrol, it will take you to this landing page and there you'll find this list of all these uh, isolate and their application. And you can also read our blog uh, on fungi as biocontrol agent and you'll get more information on this uh, topic. So another important aspect of ATCC's collection is the geographical diversity. So for example, our biocontrol isolates were deposited from around the world. And obviously we have the highest number of isolates from the United States, but again, within the country, they were isolated from different states. So next, I just want to give you two examples of our biocontrol agents. Uh, so Bivaria bestiana, ATCC 74040, uh, which controls white fly and other insect pests. And then Aspergillus niger, ATCC 9642, it shows antifungal activity against post-harvest diseases of citrus fruit. So next I want to talk about our genome portal. So in September uh, 2019, we launched the ATCC genome portal. So it is a collection of microbial reference genome data sequenced by ATCC and which is available for public download. So you can basically download these sequences, the genome sequences and the annotation. You can search for nucleotide sequence and view our assembly metadata and quality metrics. So we are aiming to sequence all our um, isolate or all our material and deposit it in the genome portal. And, and now I'm working on the this bio control agent. So you can obtain um, the, this genome as well as the fungal strain from ADCC. So finally, I'll request you to accession with us because we are always looking for new microbes to add to our collection and we are sequencing our collection of microbes and we are starting with these new deposits. Uh, so if you deposit your strain with ATCC, we will sequence the genome and these microbes can be used for research and uh, commercial purpose. So with this, I like to thank you for your time and hope you will join us uh, for the poster session. Thank you.